What's up guys, this is Quante and welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. In the last episode we completed the Monkey Mines, and in this episode we're going to be completing Vine Valley. And Vulture Culture, let's hunt ourselves some vultures, ah, uh, shall we? Hunt ourselves some vultures, we got two, we got three, here comes number four. Oh, we got him, he's going down. So something I forgot to explain about the mechanics is Diddy Kong can actually run a lot faster and I guess he can jump higher too while Donkey Kong is a little bit more sluggish as you can see he doesn't jump as high and if you press down in Y he can actually do this this little beating ground move I don't know it's not really utilized in this game too much like you can't really use it for anything not anything that I know of of course so for the longest time, I didn't even know that move existed until I just accidentally did the wrong button combination once and then that happened. But yeah. So we got three Expresso tokens. Expresso is actually one of the better animal buddies of this game. I must say, <laughs> he can fly, he's the fastest. I think he's faster than Rambi is, actually. I could be wrong about that, but he just seems like a really fast animal buddy. He can fly if you repetitively tap the B button, and so, for the longest time I didn't even know that you could fly, like I used to just hover, and he descends really fast when you like try to hover, I think he descends almost as fast when you hover as if he just jumps like that, but he, de he descends pretty fast when you're trying to fly, so there's no use on trying to do it unless you're just gonna spam the B button. But he's one of the better ones. And he doesn't really appear in too many Donkey Kong Country games. Except for this one, actually, now that I think about it. But he can't really stomp on anything because of his long legs. But if he was capable of actually defeating enemies, this would be the ultimate animal buddy, and there would be no reason for any of the other ones. Because, I mean, he can fly, and he's fast. And if he had the ability to stomp, then he'd just be the ultimate animal buddy, and there'd be no reason for any other ones. So I guess that's maybe why they took that ability away if they were going to give it to him. Because, well, he'd just be overpowered. But I still like having him around. He's a good animal buddy. And he actually appears in this world, so I'm actually glad I got those three tokens when I did. In this minigame, I think you lose if you get hit by the claptrap once. It just throws you out of the minigame. It's just like, no. If you get hit... We're just gonna penalize you for it. But I think this is like the first minigame that we've actually completed. I could be wrong about that. Besides the ones that you actually have to just go through without any sort of objective. But I'm not trying to find all of them anyway. Or complete all of them. No one that goes through this game has to complete them. And no one actually tries. I don't I don't haven't seen any playthroughs of anyone who actually tries to complete every single one. Some people just run through them because they know it'll still count towards their percentage. But alas, we're almost done with this level. And this level also has another secret exit, sort of like the minecart stage that we went to. But we have already passed it, it was like right at the beginning of the stage. Right near that um, mini game where we got the token. But, yeah. Oh, we got the Donkster back. And the- Aw, oh, I was hoping to get the end. Oh well. Lives won't be an issue anyway. We already have 35. So those shouldn't really be an issue. Why did I shoot upwards? Now the dids is gone. And I just feel uneasy. I need the dids with me or else I'm just not gonna feel right. Especially since he can jump higher. I, I don't know why I haven't mentioned him that much in this LP. I've been talking about so many other things, except for Diddy Kong. Because, see, Diddy Kong could have gotten up there, or else I was just too scared. Because I know Donkey can't jump that high, and I just missed that bonus game. But yeah, Diddy Kong is a cool character. Like, he was one of my favorite characters as a kid, especially in Donkey Kong 64. Because in that game, they tried to give Diddy Kong attitude. And he's just like always the guy who had his arms crossed and played the guitar. And he's just one of the cooler characters. Like, the Dids is just one of the cooler characters.
characters in the Nintendo universe, if I say so myself. Besides Yoshi. It was all about Diddy Kong and Yoshi when I was a kid. And it was all about dying, too. I surely did love dying in my video games. Back in my day, dying was all the rage. You know. That's just how it was in the 90s. <laughs> okay, let's do this right. Oh god, oh, I thought I missed that. You gotta have, like, the perfect timing on this level. And wow, that was sort of cheap. The naughty just fell from the sky. That's sort of another thing, it's just, this level is all about timing. You have to know exactly where the enemies are gonna fall, you have to know exactly when to shoot the barrels, exactly when to get into the barrels so they can shoot you by themselves. And <laughs> this isn't really an easy level for first time players. Oh, we got we got that. I'm not going for that token. And yeah. I was expecting to have more trouble with that level actually. But we should have a little bit of trouble on Forest Frenzy because we get introduced to a new enemy, the Black Kremlings, which jump the highest and are way faster, which is really really racist. Now that's not racist at all, but I mean, come on, do the black Anything that's black in a video game, I swear, it's always really, really fast, and it can always jump really, really high. That's it's just a fact. I have no idea why. Just like in Metroid um, Zero Mission, the black crab-like things were the fastest things. <laughs> I don't even know why. Uh, but enough about racism. Um... This level revolves around vines. We finally get to see some vines in Vine Valley. How about that? And they're used in really weird ways. I don't know how a vine could possibly transport you like this. I guess there's like someone pulling it or something like that. It's better explained in Donkey Kong Country Returns because it's actually... The vine is at the bottom of an enemy and the enemy is sort of bringing you through the level like this is. So I guess they tried to explain stuff better in Donkey Kong Country Returns. And the, like, slapping the ground mechanic, I guess I'll just call it the ground pound is used a lot more in Donkey Kong Country Returns. The only thing bad about Donkey Kong Country Returns is the lack of animal buddies. Because the only animal buddy you can use in Returns is Rambi. Like, there's no espresso, no on guard, there's not even water levels. And water levels, if I say so myself, are actually one of the stronger parts of this game. Even though they're not really a stronger part of any other type of game. They sure are a strong part of this one, because they're not really that bad in this game. I actually like the water levels in Donkey Kong Country. But yeah. I mean, I still love Donkey Kong Country Returns to Death, but it still did actually have some flaws. Like the animal buddies and the water levels. Even though they, I guess they did plan to have water levels because there's like concept art that have like a submarine segment in it or something. I don't even know enough about that game. This is Rambi's um, little mini game. It's not really that hard. It's probably the easiest one, like to actually get a lot of tokens in, and the big um, token isn't that hard to get either. But yeah, Rambi isn't really that fast. I, f I find Expresso to be a lot faster than Rambi. Which is really weird, because you'd actually think that the Rhino would be faster. But ostriches are pretty fast. And wow, that one by freaking fast! How many times am I going to say fast in a single sentence? I don't know. I wasn't expecting the timer to go down that fast. I was actually going to go up and get the big token. Oh well. Yeah, I think Diddy is ideal for this level, because you have, like, these naughties on wheels chasing you. That's what they should have called this level, naughties on wheels. Because everything's better when it's on wheels. Squeals on wheels. <laughs> That's a level in Donkey Kong Country 3, I think. But a, a way to go faster is actually rolling through the enemies, because they all come in pairs of three just like they did in um, Treetop Town. And you can just roll through them, and it'll give you, like, a giant boost of speed. And, oh, another Claptrap segment. Claptrap. I like my Claptrap smothered in mustard. Look, I got a Claptrap smothered in mustard. Wait, oh, God. Is it me? Or does it just seem like the Claptraps just don't have pupils? It's just like their eyes are white, and you can't really see anything. 
I don't know, that might just be me. But every time I look at a claptrap, it just seems like their eyes are white. And I'm sorry that my computer just went in, like, screensaver mode. And so I did I didn't even know I completed the minigame just then. Oh well. Wait, I can get something out of this? The inn. Okay. And just kill the Kremlings. And I think this is the final naughty. I could be wrong. But Diddy Kong is just a luxury to have in this level, I swear. It's just so fast. I always like the smaller characters in any video game. I just like speedy characters for some reason. And oh god, I almost jumped off of that. What was I thinking? And wow, we're almost done already. Well, we can go to Candy Kong save point, I guess. And, oh, we're at 31%. I'm almost where I was in, like, the practice file. And this is the level Expresso appears in, yes. This is, like, one of my favorite levels. And, oh, wait, you can do this. Yeah. Roll on that barrel, boy. But sadly, you have to get off of it. Wait, no. I'm just gonna carry it and kill the black guys. And blam. Oh god, no, Diddy's gone. Come back here. Uh, I'm surprised I actually stomped on all of this. Yeah, we get Expresso. But he can't stomp on any enemies, so he kind of... That's just the only thing that's sucky about him. Other than that, he's pretty cool. He can fly, so that's one thing he has over the others. Or the other animal buddies. And he's fast. So you can't go wrong with being fast. Holy crap, these orangutans are almost just about as fast. It's a good thing we didn't lose them there. It'd be cool if, like, the Kremlings could, like, steal your animal buddies and then use them against you in some sort of way. I keep losing them, though, but there's no way for me to defend myself while I'm on them, so... That level was freaking fast. Didn't even have any knowledge of what I was freaking doing. Oh well. Here comes Clam City. Clam City. And the clams can shoot out pearls now. I think they could in the first water level. But most of the water levels after this one just evolve so much. Like, each water level, in my opinion, in this game are just different. Because each water level, every time, introduces something new. Like a new type of enemy that you have to learn how to get around. Or just something like an obstacle, you know. Like, the water levels are just really cool in this game, and I don't really like water levels at all, even in Mario. And Mario, like, water levels sometimes tend to be really easy. Not all the time, but sometimes. I think we can get on guard in this level, too, can't we? I could be wrong. It'd be a lot easier to have them, too. That's why the water levels also aren't really that bad in Donkey Kong Country. Because of On Guard, because he just makes things so much easier, because you can actually attack underwater. And in most games, you can't, except for Mario, because you can get the Fire Flower underwater, which completely defies everything that has to do with the world. <laughs> but rip, Diddy. At least the checkpoint wasn't that far away. But yeah, On Guard just makes things so much more easier. Just such a luxury to have. The only thing is that he can't kill these clams. They have like little snake tongues. What do they need snake tongues for? Well, we get Donkey back and I'll kill Diddy. What the heck is wrong with me? Oh god. Okay, chomps. Get out of the way, chomps. And I forgot the K. Or I just didn't bother with getting it. And, oh, okay. This is really easy. Except for this octopus segment. I used to really hate these octopuses. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I forgot the order. <laughs> okay, one more time before we get to the boss. If I'm gonna die in any level, it should be the level before the boss. Uh, right when I say water levels aren't that bad, I die like twice. Rip me. Oh, oh god, that was so close. That was really close. Okay, donkey, let's do this. Let's do this the right way. 
Yeah, that part is actually really easy if you just stay up against the wall. Who knew walls would actually be helpful? <laughs> okay. Well, I was about to say you can probably stay at the bottom and never get hit, but... Yeah, that's wrong. Why am I even going for the G if I don't even have all the letters? Alright. So, every level is done, and we can go to Bumblebee Rumble. And this boss is actually one of the funner bosses in the game. This boss, <laughs> it used to intimidate me a lot when I was a kid. Because the boss goes faster and faster every time you get hit. I mean, every time you hit the boss, it turns red. And it's invulnerable when it's red. You can't hit it again or anything like that. You just have to deal with it. You know, the bee should just put on sunglasses and be like, deal with it, I'm invincible. There's nothing you can do. But, for some reason, this is what I don't get about Donkey Kong Country. The banana horde, when you get it back from K. Rule and everything, it should look like this, but it doesn't. I mean, look at how many bananas are in this place. The banana horde doesn't even seem to have as many bananas as these do. So, what, what's the big deal with that? It's something I never got. But enough about that. I don't even know why I said that. But in the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country, we will be going to the Gorilla Glacier. So I'll see you guys then.